last year. 2.47 ERA, but the key for her success is really going to be a little rain. Uh uh. 77 degrees, beautiful at first pitch as Hightower delivers. Supposed to be a doubleheader. They're just going to play one as Hanlon rolls it right side to Reagan Walsh on to. No way. <laughs> I, you know, if we talk Florida, Kathy Garcia Soto. 101. A little bit slower, and then sometimes she can pick it up in the mid 60s. Games hitting 410. She has found her swing, but. Can't find that pitch from Hightower. Eight on the season with a home run and 14 runs. A six and three in the American. As they step out of conference in a run to tie that two, two from Hightower. This one is blooped out to right. Pal and Walsh. Pal Ligon in her first year with Florida. Follow. Tall lefty brings the first pitch to Skylar Wallace. and. Get contact, good things are going to happen. Little, excuse me, swing, slow roller to short. And then here's what's scary about Skylar Wallace is that she's 20. The short game. Wallace slides in safely with her that contact. Garcia Soto came down on her pretty hard. trying. That's going to help Wallace see some pitches. Oh, good pitch there from Nori for the strikeout. One away. Cuts back in over the plate. And a team best 49 runs field that's going to stay in the park. Wallace will tag and head to third. Sophomore playing second base. Two and Walsh was way center field. Back to the track, to the wall, and gone. Two. How about Ray? Nori. Comes back in for a strike. It's one and two. Isn't her best pitch. It doesn't have the, the best movement. The pitch that was called for a strike just a second ago. Spent last two seasons. Swung on and missed. Two strike. Florida had to scratch out a run last year to pull it out. I know you did the math, Kayla. 2,120 combined victories in the two dugouts. Really appreciates the fact that they try to play twice a year. They do play in pitching right now because of injuries. Now they're hoping to get some of their pitchers back as Tribal Peace bounces it back to. Think about Josie Foreman and what role she played last year. She led the team in home. With an injury last Wednesday. That one's tap foul by 12 and 4 on the season. And tops in the South State's really, really good team. We saw that against Oklahoma State last night. Consideration for another at-large bid, but they also mm. in program history. Great at bat by Eigenman this year. So they're having to find different ways to win. Julie does. This one is lined foul off the bat of Jordan Went Long. Got back program like you just expect greatness from this. Off the glove of Eccles coming home as it's dug out of the corner to throw is not in time and South Florida's on of an argument here, but it happened so quickly. Yeah, really nice job by the South. The 10 pitch at bat that ended with the single, kept the inning going, and then Cadla, their bus had a mechanical issue, so they were scrambling to get. Stop. This one is hit hard through the left side, a base hit. Two on, going to be for Florida as they go deeper into SEC here. Had something to say. That's in there for a strike. So here's a 3-2. This one is lifted out to shallow right field. Coming on is Sheehan. It's Georgia. Of course, everyone was... ...hole hitter and how effectively you can turn the lineup over, putting the ball in play. 38 games into 28 games. I see that, but she's done it again. Her second hit of the night. And another RBI for Skyler. Wallace, in terms of giving her in the cerebral thinking that's going to happen between those two. Oh, I can't wait. Lori didn't miss by much. Pitch. Eccles pops it up, foul ground, and some good things happen. Oh, when you've had seven. This one is hit hard and deep to right center field, but it is caught. It for Florida. The Gators do score one up. Dominate a warning track race. I'm, I'm going to give you a little bit. Yeah. So they better get that. you. They better get you in the first few steps because. Correct.
Little bloop to second. Walsh puts it away. Four out. Sixth in the SEC in fielding position. To the top, SEC, year after year in fielding. Athletic off the line at third base. They can make the plays. This is a shot to retire the side. When we come back, both league champs a year ago. Staff ace there. The this one is hit deep to right field off the bat of Pal Egan and hauled in at the. But I think that's credit to what Norrie's doing in the late show. And two at bats that honestly you could say are really good. Good job by Scholar. She's pitching. Really He's not going to talk to us. Come back and find out. It's interesting talking about Skylar Wallace there. That's what kind of gets her going to show up the next day and say, all right, I'm not going to get out on that pitch again. You know, I want to be on a winning team, but people, it was honest. Fly ball out of play for strike one, two pawn. Competitive fire, a little bit more complicated. Oh, I'm doing it. So fall be going back, track, wall, gone. Hans fifth home run of the season. Vivian Pond staying hot. And you Three. This one is hit hard, but foul. I love what approach at the plate. It was so great. The bat, she can clear her head and just trust what she's put in to be successful at the plate. Popped up. You can listen in. Hightower's going to throw and clearing her barrel. And that's a nice bit. Eigenman just fouled off a pitch. She's a little... Swung on and missed. To have right-handed hitters pull it hard down the line for a strike. And that's how they get their barrels out just a little bit too early, just a little bit. Starting with, well, it's now four games because game two of the doubleheader was Nori had a 1-2-3 inning. And the fact that her offense just tied the ball game up allows her to stay in the game a lot longer than she would have otherwise. Yep, she tried to sneak that win in the back door but didn't get the call. Popped up, left side, calling forward is Garcia. Clear, Caleb. They were thin in the surf state. They're good. Ranked 23rd in the country. This one is a solid single to center. One of the best players in the country in Sydney McKinney. That is pretty common for a catcher to have a really bright white knee. On. Once in a while, <laughs> I'll make a great point. They still have UCF. That's coming up this weekend. They're heading there after this game. Looking at the South Florida team and where they've come in midweek. I think that could be big time for them in conference play. Up. Speak volume. This is sandwiched in between the Georgia series. What's on your schedule with Tennessee coming up? Some other game ranked 14th in the country. You know, you go and shock everybody at Tennessee. That's going to really. And a Tennessee team that's been so locked down. Falby takes strike one. She's 0 for 1 with a walk. Three pitchers. So tough to try. That's in there for strike three. Ball game, and I think. That's outside for a ball. You Now, did you ever get in there and just completely. That's down low for a ball. And Piero is aboard with one down. It's 0-2. Yeah, and I definitely thought. Trying to load and punch the ball through the infield and try and. Two and two. Popped up, foul ground, Eccles. Grounded to third, Eccles on to first. South Florida. Yeah, Vivian. And she was three for three with a home run at the plate. Two-way player. This is what Kayla talked about. Hit a two-run home run in the first inning, her first time, and she follows up with her second hit of the night. This one is hit to the center fielder, Galagani and Nori, and if they are indeed able to get Peyton. And rotate them through. Rowe with a bloop to right field, it'll get down for a base hit. I mean, that pitch up, but yeah, for this USF team is figuring out. Yeah, 
she was, I mean, Georgina Corrick was one of the most. Right now, Florida trying to take advantage. Loses her, ball four, bases. Emily Wilkie will step in. Grounded to third, the throw on to first, and late, they're only playing a single game and not a doubleheader here. Grounded to the shortstop, Wallace to first. That down movement. And do That's going to get down and all the way to the wall off the bat of Vivian Pond, who is rounding first. and she To second base, put a runner in scoring position for the South. Outstanding last nine games. Slow roller to Wallace. The throw to first is it. 2-0. and oh. And had a pinch hit. Grounded to Eccles to her left. The throw on three, Gators and Bulls. You see at nine and six with Arkansas. This is lifted out to right and Gells. Left-handed hitters here for Popko to face. Tap foul and it's one and two to fall tonight. A couple of strikeouts. Gells at second, another two-two. Falby goes down. Lefty out of the pen and Kopko against deep to left and foul ground and Kopko comes on and gets the job in the second struck out in the fourth Elizabeth Hyde this one is blooped out the left coming on and making the sliding catch as Alyssa Reno will step in fall be credit this one is chopped to third Eccles on the first mother ways and that was a nice sliding catch she's Ground ball to Wallace. One. And to walk it off. Batting lineup. Lexi Kopko did it. And through the hole and into left field. The leadoff single for Walsh. That is her. Kopko in the game at first base. He's put all his chips in. And Gator bats, especially from the left side. So many in their lineup are left-handed. Interesting, too. Florida Gators and Tim Walton are not trying. Down low, ball four, two on. Chasing that pitch is two on, nobody out. The bunt for Rowe, it's a good one. The throw right there by Sam Rowe, doing a job. Now two and oh. Center field, and that will do it. Off grand slam and floor. And capitalizes it. To